Seven o'clock. We call mid this <laughs> minute to order. Let's get I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Brooks? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mrs. Davis? Here. Mr. DeFrancesco? Here. Mr. Giroux? Mr. Gulick? Here. Mr. Johnston? Here. Mr. Lynch? <coughs> Mr. Valeski? Here. I'm going to recommend approval of the attached meeting minutes for November 9 and November 12. Absolutely. Second. It's been, it's been <clears throat> moved and second. All rise. Any other vote? All in favor. All in favor. Huh? All in favor. All in favor. All in favor. So, aye. 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 I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Opposed? Opposed? Motion. Motion carries, all right. Um, we've got a couple presentations. Um, we've got some fall sports recognition. Uh, Mr. Newman's gonna help us out here this evening. First is uh, Cambridge Springs girls soccer. I guess you're gonna Okay, first uh, Cambridge Springs girls soccer team, uh, which consists of girls from Cambridge Springs High School and Sagertown High School in co-op, had a historic run to the Western Pennsylvania finals this season. The team set many records and had first this season, those which were a record number of wins at 14, a record number of playoff wins in a season at three, the first District 10 championship, first PIAA state tournament win, and first ever District 10 1A girls soccer team to play in the state semifinals. So congratulations to the girls and we appreciate the uh, all their hard work and supporting uh, Pencrest. Next. Next, we would like to uh, recognize the Maplewood girls volleyball team. After completing a tough schedule against many AAA and single-A top caliber teams, the Maplewood girls volleyball team completed their season with a tough loss in the state quarterfinals. The Tigers had an outstanding season with a record of 20-3. and three. Their only losses came against Clariton, top team in the state in single A, and eventual regional co-champions Cash in the early part of the season. The third loss came to Phillipsburg Osceola from District 6 in the state quarterfinals. The Tigers were led by seniors Kaisia Thomas, Madison Crawford, and all-state selection Chloe Leach. Juniors Avery Bruneau, Eve Puchet, Trista Robinson, and Madeline Rankin. A team with a lot to look forward to in the future with sophomores Chloe Cox, Madison Vergona, McKenna Crawford, all district selections Sadie Thomas and Bailey Varnell. The Tigers finish with a Region 4 title, District 10 title, and a trip to the state quarterfinals. Congratulations to the Maplewood Girls Volleyball. Next. Next, we'd like to recognize the Sagertown High School Girls Volleyball team. Sagertown girls volleyball team had a historic season this year as well. Our overall record was 15 and nine. We played a demanding non-conference schedule that prepared us for regional play and the postseason. We won our first region league title since 1976 and our school's second district 10 title, the last being in 2010. The girls worked extremely hard over the last few years. We've had a rigorous off-season schedule that has often started days after our previous season had finished. Including this summer with the pandemic, we were able to start having workouts in July that led to a safe, successful season. The team was grateful that we could have a season this year, and despite some of the restrictions, we had fun, worked extremely hard, and enjoyed the success that comes with those things. We had three seniors on the team that contributed heavily to our success over the last few years. They have helped us improve every year and exemplify what a student athlete should be. They are Ava Jones, 
Dixie Kindervader, and Amber Costello. In addition to the team success, we also had some individual awards this season. Amber Costello made first team all District 10. Brittany Hawk made first team all District 10, PAVBCA all state team. And Avery Bremeyer got first team all D10 and PAVBCA all state team as well. The future's bright for the Sagertown High School girls volleyball program. The JV team also had a successful season and we have a lot of returning players from this year's varsity team. Everyone's looking forward to a successful 2021 season from Coach Johnson. Congratulations, girls. Now, the last one this evening. And lastly, we have Sagertown High School cross country. The Sagertown High School cross country team had much success this season as well. The girls varsity earned the right to compete in the District 10 championship by being a single-way qualifying team from Region 3. At that championship, uh, Sam Hetrick placed fifth to be on the lone Pencrest qualifier for states this year. Then at the PIAA state championship race on November 7th, Sam placed 25th to earn his second straight medal at states, becoming only the third two-time medalist in Sagertown history. He was the highest District 10 finisher at the race and was the sixth fastest runner from District 10 at all levels. Additionally, the junior high boys and girls teams were both Region 3 champions as well. Congratulations to a successful season. Congratulations, Congratulations to all those folks. A lot of hard work. Yeah, considering. Yeah, let's go for an awesome job this year. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have anybody for uh, to address the board? So we've got I've got uh, one student um, delegate representative. Um, I'm going to play that for you now. One moment. Good evening. My name is Haiku Peter. I'm here to update you on what's happening at Segertown High School. Teachers are working hard and many are providing the option of synchronous learning. Many Segertown students are logging in and staying connected from home. Building administration is proud of everyone's efforts for continuous learning and improvement for our Panther families. All juniors will be taking the ASVAB test on December 16th and 17th. The first boys basketball game will be held at Segertown on Friday, December 11th against Greenville. You can watch the game on the live stream. The link will be posted to all Panther Press media and is available at pencrest.org under the athletics tab. The sports and entertainment marketing class is busy updating their site for the winter sports. You can visit the site at the link provided. The following students have been selected as honorable athletes by Erie Times News. In football, first team defense, Jaden Regal. Second team offense, Jake Reisinger, Zach Yoder, and Josh Perrine. Second team defense, Jake Reisinger and Landon Caldwell. In golf, Erie Times News all district second team, Dylan Flinchbaugh. Region three all stars first team, Dylan Flinchbaugh. Region 3 All-Stars second team, Max Fuller and Joseph Grundy. In volleyball, first team All-State Class 1A PVCA, Brittany Houck and Avery Bremer. District 10 All-District Small School Team, Amber Costello and Brittany Houck. Region 3 All-Stars first team, Brittany Houck, Avery Bremer and Amber Costello. Second team, Ava Jones. In cross country, Region 3 Runner of the Year, Sam Hattrick. Region 3 First Team, Sam Hattrick. Region 3 Second Team, Nathan DeYoung. Region 3 First Team for the Ladies, Paige Fuller and Emma Mack Adam. Region 3 Second Team for the Ladies, Cassidy Boylan. Thank you for your time. Make sure to follow us all at Panther Press SHS on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you, Haiku. Thank you. Um, is there any PAEA representative that would like to make some announcements this evening? Nope. Nope. All right. Um, we do have a registered citizen's comment. And I know that uh, Mr. Logic is um, 
on the meeting, so I will let him uh, address the board. Hi, how are you? Good, we can hear you, sir. Okay. Um, I just have a, a couple of concerns about the upcoming roof project. If we could talk about that for a few minutes. I have a couple of questions and maybe a couple of points to make. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I, the one, the one uh, question I'd like to have is um, the 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 uh, Pencrest School District is using a roof consultant to uh, write their plans and specs and um, I was wondering why we're using a roof consultant who works for the Garland Company uh, which is the uh, the, main, the roofing manufacturer which he's using uh, instead of an architect why aren't we using an architect in lieu of the roof consultant I think that we can answer your questions, but like I can't answer them right this minute, sir. I, I mean, I'm obviously uh, not a, a roofing consultant, but um, what I can do is I can put my email address uh, in the chat, and you can call and you can come in and meet with us. Um, if you would like to make some statements to the board, I think you can. Um, I, under, I understand what um, you're saying. Yeah, we had a pre-bid meeting the other day up to Maplewood High School, and uh, we picked the plans and specs up, up out there with the bid form. And on the bid form, there's no other option for uh, a roofing system equivalency for the third year warranty besides uh, a Garland, uh, the, the Garland roof, which the Garland roof is probably one of the most expensive uh, roofing uh, materials on the market and I think the school district could uh, really save a lot of money by uh, opening up some other options yep I understand um, I think the majority of our roofs here are Trunco roofs but we do have some garland roofs I know that there was the roof that was put on the, about two three years ago um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I've been a roofer for 33 years, and I've seen all aspects of the trade, and, and, um, from the bidding process to the application of it to uh, deliver the warranties. And I believe that we, that, that the district can uh, save hundreds of thousands of dollars by going with a, an, another roof manufacturer. Okay, is it now another roof manufacturer? We still talking the same warranty, the same specs? Um, there, there are other uh, manufacturers out there that provide thirty-year warranties that are uh, way less money than what you would pay for car. I mean, you could go with it. Um, even a rubber roof, they provide a 30-year warranty. Um, uh, Suprema, they, they, they have uh, uh, systems that they provide also a 30-year warranty. Um, I put my email in the, yeah. the chat. Even if you went with a 25-year warranty with a rubber roof, after that warranty is exceeded, you can coat those rubber roofs yeah. and get another 10. Out. And, so. and I think it, it, the district could save some money. Um, and you could use that um, money to um, uh, address other issues up there, like uh, flashing heights. The through wall flashings on the roof are, uh, when the building was built, those flashings weren't high enough. And you, you would have enough money to um, fix those. And if, if, if an architect was uh, it was hired and, and he looked at that he could address some of these issues and uh, give different options 
how the way things are, they're going to leave all those flashings in place, which they're not not high enough. Um, but at least uh, if you go with another, you know, a cheaper option, you would have enough money to um, address those issues. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, sir. If you want to reach out to me, um, I can certainly set a meeting with yourself and. Uh, whether it's the facilities uh, uh, committee or the, the facilities director, but um, I, I, I understand what you're saying. And I, I appreciate you bringing that to our attention. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. <clears throat> Should we move to the uh, athletic committee? Mr. Gullick, chairman. Yep. All right, item A. Uh, recommend approval to accept the resignation of the following coaches. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. It's been <clears throat> put on the floor and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. Item B, recommend approval to employ the following coaches. On behalf of the committee, I'll make that motion. Second. It's been the Approved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion is approved. Item C, uh, recommend approval to permit participation in the following athletic events. Um, in light of the governor's announcement and the secretary of health announcement, um, I have put a line through all of the uh, items that are scheduled between now and the January 3rd mandated closure i've been pretty consistent with not approving athletic travel at this time so um i'll call on someone else to make that motion please uh, i so move so, yeah. okay the motion has been <clears throat> put on the floor and second all in favor say do roll call for discussion all opposed you want to do a roll call? Do a roll call, please. Do All right. Do you want a roll call? No, I just thought you shouldn't give somebody else one. Louis D was asking if, if, if there's any discussion on this. Uh, you I don't know if any of the people that are on your, if you've got board members that are. Go ahead. Do you okay. Any discussion? Any discussion? No, I didn't have anything to discuss. I just was no. suggesting that you say discussion in case anyone else had something to say. Yeah, I, I heard that. Yes. Okay. All right. We're good. It's but been. It's, this the motion has been placed on the floor and it's been second. Now we can this is a roll call vote. Only the ones in January, though? Is that These are the ones January? that are not scratched out. Oh, you put lines Yeah, put lines scratched out on there. Okay. So we're doing a roll call vote to so approve the participation in the athletic events as Five, listed six, that aren't scratched six. out. Anything before January? Anything prior to January 3rd okay. has been eliminated. So, yeah. Brown and Bullock, and we'll call Mr. Brooks. Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mrs. Davis? Yes. Mr. D. Francesco? Yes. Um, Mr. Bullock? No. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Lynch? Oh. Not here. Mr. Valeski? Yes. Okay. Six to one. Education Committee, Mr. Brooks, Chairman, Item A, recommend approval of the attached affiliation agreement with Gannon University. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. The watch has been set on the floor and second. All eyes. All in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? Opposed? Motion has been passed and approved. Uh, item B, recommend approval of the attached agreement with the Caring Foundation. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. It's been, the motion's been uh, second. All those in favor? Any discussion at this time? 
No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. Facilities and Transportation Committee, Mr. Johnson, Chairman. Uh, all we have is an update for the GISA project. We had a kickoff meeting uh, last week. We've uh, looked at some conversations about how to get started if possible at Maplewood. Um, we've noted that there is a heck of a lot of asbestos tile and we're going to be tight to get it all up over the summer. So we're going to try to do some of the abatement in the gym, the locker rooms, and the hallway over the Easter recess. <laughs> Sorry. Christmas break. So we're going to work on that. Um, finance committee, Mr. Brown, Chairman, item A, recommend approval of the attached treasurer's reports. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion this time? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion has been approved. Item B, recommend approved attached disbursements. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion at this time? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is approved. Item C, recommend approval of the resolution not to exceed the Act 1 index for the 21-22 school year. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. <coughs> Motion has been second. And discussion at this time? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion approved. Item D, recommend approval of the subgrant contracts with Northwestern Tri County Intermediate Unit 5 for the 2021 IDEA pass through grants. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Motion has been second. Any discussion this time? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. Item E, recommend approval to authorize administration to advertise and or otherwise request bids quotes for products and services to be purchased during the 21-22 fiscal year. All bids and quotes are subject to board approval. On behalf of the committee, so move. Motion been second. Any discussion at this time? No discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion approved. Item F is just for information. We had that at the work session, so I'm not going to make any comments. Uh, personnel committee, Mr. Brooks, chairman. Item A. Recommend approval to accept the following resignations. Why doesn't someone do it here while it's so? Uh, I'll be asked, or so moved. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get here. Do we have a second? Second. Motion's been uh, <clears throat> second. Any discussion at this time? No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion approved. Item B, recommend approval of the leave of leaves of absence. Ma'am, the committee so moved. Second. Motion has been second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. Item C, recommend approval to employ Amanda Porter as a Director of Technology effective January 1, 2021. Salary and benefits will be in accordance with the Act 93 Compensation Plan. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Motion has been second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. No opposed. Aye. Motion approved. Congratulations to Miss Amanda Porter. Porter, correct? Porter. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, item D, recommend approved employee Jessica Peters as an eight-hour custodian assigned to Cambridge Springs Junior Senior High School 
effective December 14, 2020. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Motion has been second. Any discussion at this time? No discussion. All in, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. And me recommend approval of a support staff member of the support sick staff sick leave bank access up to 19 sick bank days as recommended by the support sick bank leave uh, I'm changing this motion next time. <laughs> <laughs> as read or as written. <laughs> funny. I'm having the committee to move. Dr. Seuss wrote second. <laughs> Do we have a second? Motion's been second. <laughs> Any discussion at this time? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. Madam F, recommend approval of following volunteers as listed. Madam, the committee so moved. Second. Motion been second. In discussion at this time? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion approved. Policy Committee, Mr. DeFrancesco, Chairman. Uh, item A is recommend approval of the attached policies. Uh, there's about seven of them there. I think we've had them on for about two months now. Yep. Yeah, the committee will make that recommendation. Do we have a second? Second. Motions have been uh, second. and the discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion approved. City Schools Committee, Mr. Brown, uh, Chairman. We have no vote, voting items today. Crawford County Career and Technical Center report, Mr. Johnson, Representative. I was uh, working so I didn't get to attend. I don't know if anybody else did. Who's a Zoom meeting? There. Um, no report. Intermediate Unit 5 report. Mr. Brooks, Representative. Any report, Mr. Brooks? There was no meeting last month. PSBA Legislative Report. Mr. Gulick, Representative. No report. Man. No report. Uh, brings us to new business. No new business this time. Brings us to board member remarks. Board member remarks. Let's start with our members on uh, on the virtual. All right, Jeff um, Brooks, you want to be first? Sure. Um, this, this is a, a very interesting time to be involved in, in public education. I'd like to commend our staff and our parents and our students for being so flexible. We are, are making changes every week based on ever-changing guidance, and it is, it's very difficult for the families to make adjustments to this on the fly for our students and our parents and our coaches and our entire community. So I would like to say, you know, that we will get through this. I appreciate the leadership shown by the administration and the board. And, um, and beyond that, to go to some of the things we talked about at the beginning of the meeting, during the fall, I think that our students really showed how dedicated they are to school and to athletics and to their extracurriculars as shown by, I think, four all-state selections in volleyball, the outstanding performance by soccer. Our, our, our athletes and our kids are out there. They're resilient. They're doing great, and we're going to get through this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer? Ms. Jen Davis? Any comments? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes. Um, I think just to echo what Jeff said and kind of put my two cents in on top of that, I think like a mom, and, and this, this time that we're in is very unique. I'm so grateful for the teachers and the flexibility and the dedication that they're showing. The students, no matter where they're learning, they think they're doing their best, and it's challenging. Um, I have a concern as, as we make these motions and as we vote to keep schools open or whether whether to or whether not to, whether to participate in sports, whether not to, 
And I just I feel like I need to just reiterate that we're keeping things open and we're doing our best to make things available. But families really have the last choice when it comes to their children. And if they don't feel it's right for their children, then they're, they're able to make those decisions too, and no one would hold it against them if they made those decisions. So I just, I, I don't know, maybe it doesn't need to be said, but I just feel like I wanted to say that, that there's so many options available, and, and we, we are so grateful to have have those options so that we can make the right choice for our family. So thank you to all of Pencrafter for everything, and whatever, whatever, um, portion or whatever part you're playing we're grateful. Thanks, Ms. Davis. <clears throat> Mr. Valesky? Yeah, I don't really have anything this evening. Uh, so. All right. Thank you. Mr. Gulick? Um, I guess first of all, I just want to congratulate um, Amanda Porter on being hired as our new tech director. Um, I was very impressed with her when she spoke to the board the other night, and I think she'll do a wonderful job. And I'm so horrible with uh, technology that she doesn't know this yet, but she'll probably be on my speed dial. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, congratulations to all the fall athletes, especially the ones that we recognize tonight. Um, represents a lot of hard work, uh, practice and so forth, and, and a lot of dedication by the parents as well. So congratulations for that. Um, I guess good luck to the winter sports teams when they're allowed to play, January 5th, hopefully. Um, but good luck to them. And I guess lastly, I'll just wish everybody a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year and everybody stay happy, healthy, and safe. Mr. Brown? Uh, yes. Uh, first off, I would also like to congratulate the uh, uh, girls soccer and volleyball teams from Maplewood and Sager Town and uh, Sam Hetrick on his accomplishment across country. Uh, it just goes to show the resilience of the students and the staff here at Pancrest School District. Uh, those kids did a fantastic job, and all, all the sports did a great job. Uh, also, congratulations to Amanda Porter. It's awesome to have you on board. Uh, I hope you have your uh, your uh, your work will be cut out for you. I guess. Uh, and also. Uh, you know, the staff and the, our uh, administration, they are doing a fantastic job. The guidelines are changing all the time. Uh, I'm not envious of them at all. Uh, Dr. Glasspool is keeping the ship in the right direction, and uh, I just want to thank him personally. He's doing a great job. And uh, last but not least, hey, it is Christmas, so I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, we will get through this. Uh, just stay strong and uh, stay safe. And just remember what the holiday is really about. And family is important. That's all. Justin? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Amanda Porter for coming on board. I think she's going to be a very good asset to our team. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate our sports teams did awesome, set new records, uh, very impressive, especially in light of the circumstances that we've been dealt. Uh, I'd like to thank our staff and administration for doing everything possible to keep things going. I uh, want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy your family, stay safe. And lastly, since we got it on TV, I got a lot of email, well I won't say a lot, but I got several emails about people not being able to get on the Zoom meeting. So our superintendent has increased our license so there's no excuse for people not being able to get on now. So if you're watching this on the replay, next meeting you should be able to join us on Zoom. Mr. Glasspool, you want to be a board member too, you know. I have no comments. <laughs> Well, for, first I would like to wish a bit, <clears throat> send my best wishes to uh, our uh, president of the board, Mark Giro, he's still uh, under recovery now, and I hope he's going to get a, 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 a thorough and total quick recovery and join us again. Also, you know, 
I would like to ask all the parents, please have patience. In January, hopefully, all our kids are gonna go come back to school, to the uh, buildings. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to continue to educate our kids the way it's supposed to. Unfortunately, things can happen. And uh, just like our president, he's got a different, he doesn't have the virus, he's got a, other problems, just like many people that always come up with something else other than the, the virus. And that's, unfortunately, that's how we humans, we can always come up with something that we don't want to go through. And uh, in January, I believe, everything's going to go back to semi-normal, I hope. And just hang on there, parents, and uh, you kids will be doing fine. We have a good leadership in, the, in our district, and they will be thinking about the, the best for your children. Thank you. The board met in executive session on the 3rd and 10th for personnel litigation and safety concerns. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. 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 Vote in favor? Aye. 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 Vote in adjourn.